Video number three about Josh Berry going to SHR and there's a happy ending somewhat in the Landon Huffman, Hickory, Jake Crum situation. Let's get into it. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, Jordan Bianchi is reporting that Josh Berry is going to SHR. I've made three videos about it. Uh, I'll, or this will be my third video on it, I should say. So uh, you, you kind of already knew it. I feel like I'm recovering ground, but we'll see what Jordan Bianchi right here had to say. Josh Berry and Stuart Haas Racing are working toward finalizing contract that would see Berry drive for the team full-time in the Cup Series beginning in 2024, sources tell The Athletic. So there you go. Still not official from Stuart Haas yet. So there probably will be a fourth video that Josh Berry uh, is going or has finally signed with SHR, but like pretty much the worst kept secret uh, in the garage. Uh, so yeah, no need for me to cover it again. I think they're getting a good driver. I think that's a driver they can build around in the future, him and Chase Briscoe uh, and whoever they put, you know, either, I, we don't even know if he's taking over the 10 or the four car, but whoever they put in the other car. And of course you've got Ryan Priest there as well. So a solid uh, younger stable of drivers. Uh, they're in the early 30s. Uh, Chase Briscoe is still in his 20s, I believe. So good uh, good foundation for Stuart Haas to build upon going forward. Also this weekend at Charlotte, Chase Elliott's teammate is back, according to NASCAR memes on Instagram. Follow them. That's a good site. But yeah, Alex Bowman is back in the 48 uh, at Charlotte this weekend. You know, of course, speaking of Josh Berry. And finally, probably the most requested video that I've had in quite some time. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know my thoughts on the Jake Crum, Landon Huffman situation. For those of you who are unaware, uh, at Hickory Motor Speedway, Landon Huffman, a fellow YouTuber who races a late model stock car, uh, a High Rock Vodka, I think, is his sponsor. Uh, Dale Jr., you know, Dale Jr. owned. So uh, he's he's got a lot of fan support behind him. I think he's got like a, he's got a ton of followers on uh, YouTube. So a lot of, a lot of crossover there. But uh his dad was spotting for him in the spotter stand and he got into a tangle on the track. I'm going to, I'm going to show all this uh, later and, and uh, get into it. But uh, basically there was a fight in the stands and we're going to get to the video before I explain any further on that. And I think that there's really no place uh, for that in racing. Uh, I've been very vocal on fighting and racing is, is just stupid and, and there's no need for it. Uh, and it shouldn't be in the sport. Uh, but so yeah, I think uh, Jake Crum uh, definitely needed to be uh, arrested for what he did. So now let's get into what happened. They're going to try to make it three wide, coming off a of turn two. I don't believe it. All three cars make it through there. Landon Huffman, oh, he pushes Crum out of the way. She's sideways, all into everything. All right, so you saw those two video clips there. Landon Huffman moves Annabeth Crum out of the way. Annabeth Crum tried to spin him out uh, as he was going by because she didn't like the contact or whatever. Uh, you know, no harm, no foul there. But then under yellow, she goes and she rams his car, uh, full throttle, rams his car, and wrecks herself again, this time destroying her car uh, and causing damage to his car as well. So he had to uh, sit out as well. And then... After that happened in the stands, the aforementioned uh, spotter uh, fight that we're talking about, uh, here it is right here. So you saw that. There's absolutely no need for that. He was he blindsided he blindsided Robert Huffman there with a clothesline or something and knocked him down. And then uh, you saw as they were being separated, he stomped on a downed opponent. If you stomp on a person, that that is really bad. That is basically attempted uh, deletion of a human life, in my opinion. Uh, so we will see uh, what happens there. Actually, we won't see because it actually came out today. I, I forgot about that. It actually came out today that he was charged. So let's see what he was charged with. Jake Crum was arraigned and posted bail on simple assault charges against Robert Huffman. Still no word on penalties from Hickory or NASCAR against Annabeth Barnes Crum over the on-track incident with Landon Huffman. Then right after that, there was an update. NASCAR has notified the member home tracks that Jake Crum had his license suspended for the remainder of the 2023 season for all events it sanctions. Then Landon Huffman chimed in. The unfortunate truth here is he will still be allowed in the grandstand, which means he could still go and spot on the stand. If the track doesn't punish him, he can still come in as a spectator, and I doubt they will. 
So that last point right there made by Landon Huffman is a good point. He could still come into the track as a spectator and cause problems. Not only that, there are probably a lot of people that really don't like him right now. So if he came into the track, there's a chance other people are going to take care of business uh, before he even makes it uh, to uh, Robert Huffman again. So it just sets yourself up for a bad situation. In my opinion, I think Hickory Motor Speedway should uh, just suspend him from the track, at least for the year, at the very least. Uh, and you see NASCAR, they couldn't even revoke his license because he didn't even have a NASCAR license. So he actually had no business being there on the spotter stand anyway because he didn't have his NASCAR uh, license with him. But they basically said... Uh, he can't apply for one until 2024, so he can't attend NASCAR-sanctioned events at Hickory, but he still can go to Hickory for non-NASCAR-sanctioned events uh, until the track itself bans him, which, like I said, they should do. Now let's get on to the other part. He got the char He got charged with simple assault. I think he got off easy with that charge because, like I said, whenever you stomp on a downed opponent, to me, that is attempted uh, deletion of a human being. Uh, so I think he got off lucky there. Uh, like I said, I, I think he's a piece of garbage for doing that. Uh, total uh, total uh, crappy human, in my opinion, and uh, no place for him, in my opinion, uh, around any type of motorsport if you want to be like that. I mean, if, you, if you're such a badass, go fight in the UFC or something, dude. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully uh, hopefully he is uh, suspended by the track as well, but at least NASCAR did what they could do. Uh, hopefully uh, he does get convicted of it uh, when it goes to trial because it's pretty obvious uh, that he is guilty uh, from the video. So uh, yeah, a lot of people wanted to know uh, my opinion on that, so... There you go. That's my opinion on that. He's a uh, he's a piece of crap. So, uh, yeah. That's all I got for you on this one. If you made it this far, feel free to subscribe down below. All your subscriptions mean a lot to the channel. I've been a wild week. Uh, I know it's been a, probably the longest gap I've had between videos. But, yeah, so I had to get this one up. Uh, and if anything happens, I'll be at Ace Speedway. And uh, if anything happens, I'll make a video there. Uh, if you've got a comment question, leave it down in the comment section. I always love to know what you guys have to say about things. Also, check out the merch. We are affiliated with Accelerated Graphics. They do all our t-shirts and stuff. I uh, host uh, the uh, website there, so check them out. Link is down in the description if you would like to uh, support the channel so we can do the projects and all the stuff that we've got planned when we hit 10,000. Uh, and other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.